Welcome to East Coast Oak Reviews today. We got another Proclamation Ale Company beer. This is their uh, Sunshine Grave, which is a IPA. It's in a collaboration. It says brewed in collaboration with Dissolver, which is a company that I haven't uh, heard of before until uh, this collaboration. Um, I've never tried any of their beers. Uh, so yeah, this is Proclamation Ale Company, Warwick, Rhode Island. If you want to check them out, you can go to proclamationale.com. Alcohol by volume is 7.2%. It says unfiltered and may contain sediment. And uh, yeah, I have the website pulled up. A little bit more information on this beer. So it says, collaboration with Dissolver. With this IPA, we tried out a new water profile to push a smooth, silky mouthfeel. This beer is loaded with Citra, Talus, and Meridian hops for a nice combination of tropical fruit, red berry, and citrus flavors. 7.2% ABV. So uh, yeah, sounds pretty good. Um, let's crack this open and uh, let's pour it into my glass and check out the appearance. Got my streets glass here today. So cheers guys. Very thick, hazy orange color golden orange actually looks like there's some chunks in there as well very hazy though produce a nice uh, frothy white head looks like it's already leaving a nice lacing it does look silky smooth in appearance um, aroma definitely pineapple and mango I can see some type of berry it has a nice earthy hop resin, orange and maybe grapefruit, big grittiness. It has a nice juicy like, like smoothie-esque aroma. Definitely very tropical forward. I think there's like a pear or something in there as well. Some type of apple or pear. Yeah, it smells really good. Like I said, citrus, tropical, fruity. It smells good. It smells like another great New England IPA by these guys. And uh, yeah, let's dive into this one. Cheers. A nice bitterness on the back end. Ooh, definitely a nice medium to full bodied, silky mouthfeel, creamy mouthfeel. This prickly carbonation as well, medium to high carbonation. This one I'm getting a little bit more of the hops, but. The juicy tropical flavor is there. It's definitely pineapple. Maybe like, yeah, definitely like a berry-esque note. It's got a little bit of like a tart, acidic finish along with the hot present and floral aspect of the beer. With that bitterness of getting like the grapefruit Kind of like a pithy orange. Lemon, definitely very citrusy on the finish. Whereas like the tropical flavor is up front, but I definitely think the finish kind of dominates the upfront flavor, if that makes any sense. So you get the tropical flavor at first sip, but it's kind of drowned out by the citrus flavor. It's not bad, it's actually really good. I do like the mouthfeel, 7.2%, no burn, no hot burn. This is actually really fresh too. This is a Can Don, this is just in time, 2-7-2022. So this is about 14 days old. So pretty fresh, two weeks old. 
maybe another week, maybe that tropical flavor will jump out a little bit more. Maybe not. Um, it is really good though. I do enjoy it. Yeah, like a little berry-esque flavor on the finish. I am still kind of getting that, like a little bit of that like apple or maybe maybe more towards like a pear. Pineapple. Not necessarily mango. What was the other flavor that they said they used? Or the other flavor note. Uh, tropical fruit, red berry, and citrus. Okay, so. Yeah, I, I can totally see that. Um, like I said, the tropical, I'm pretty much just kind of getting like pineapple. Um, I was trying to think if maybe I was getting like guava, but I don't really see guava in this one. Maybe a little bit of melon. Maybe honeydew. Maybe honeydew. It's good. Like I said, the tropical flavor just isn't as prominent as I'm used to with their New England IPAs. But it's still a really good beer. I still enjoy it. Uh, the price on it, it says $4.50 for a single can. Excuse me. So a four pack is gonna cost you 18 bucks. Not a bad price for what you're getting. It's really good. It does have that nice silky smooth mouthfeel like they say. The little bit of berry note kind of creates a little bit of like a, not necessarily sour, but a nice little tart aftertaste. Adds a little tartness to the finish, which is nice. You don't normally see that in uh, New England IPAs, so it does work with it though. Um, Cyclops scale, like I said, the bitterness is a little bit more uh, prominent than what someone might be used to with the New England IPA. So I'd say it's about three and a half out of five hop cones. Um, sweetness, sweetness is a little lacking in this beer. Um, so I'd say about two and a half. Um, you still get some sweetness from the, the tropical and the citrus flavor, but it's definitely not, um, I, I do believe it's kind of covered up by the uh, the hop resin and the, the bitterness of the beer. Um, but yeah, overall for a rating for the beer itself, I think they did a great job. Like I said, I like that little bit of that aspect of berry note. Um, I just kind of wish the tropical flavor was a little bit more prominent on the upfront flavor. Um, so I'm gonna give it like a, I'll give it a 90, I'll say 93. I think that's a fair rating. 18 bucks for a four pack. Usually their stuff is around like, I think some of their, uh, like their original IPA is like around 14 bucks. So anything that like they do a collaboration with is usually around like 18 to 20. So 18, not a bad price, especially with a collaboration like this. I'm not sure if Dissolver makes their own version or this is just something that Dissolver helped Proclamation make. Cause I know sometimes with collaborations, uh, a couple of the uh, beer community guys were talking about the other day that some uh, collaborations um, companies will make their own version. So it'll pretty much be the same thing, but they make their own version. Um, not their own version, but they use the same ingredients, but they, they have their own can they have their own product and they release it um and the can art may look very similar um but yeah that's kind of how some people do collaborations but uh i think i think i saw i looked at dissolver the other day and i saw that um they had some stuff that was with proclamation but it wasn't anything that proclamation has done so it might be they they work uh they work with proclamation and uh, come up with a beer for them, and then Proclamation works with them and comes up with a beer for their um, for their uh, line. So that's cool. That's awesome that guys are doing that. That's awesome that this beer community is working together and they're making beers together. So I will say that's definitely a plus. Um, recommend it. Yeah, I'm gonna recommend it. If uh, if you could get this, this might be a, a one that you might have to be um, close to Warwick, Rhode Island. You might have to be in the Warwick. Uh, you might have to be in the Rhode Island area, maybe even Mass, maybe Mass might get it. But I think this is gonna be one of those beers that might be harder to get if you're a little bit further than that. But as so uh, for availability, I think it might be a little bit harder to find. But yeah, I'm gonna recommend it. If you guys uh, wanna try a good beer uh, by Proclamation, that's in collaboration with Dissolver, which is cool, which is a company that, like I said, I've never heard of before, check it out. Check it out and see if you can get your hands on it. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything else that you guys like to see on my channel, definitely leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Love your beer.
Thanks for watching, you guys. Cheers.